Time for tonight's episode of Republicans Don't Mean What They Say. Of all the lies that George Santos told, two are the most jarring. That his mother perished in 9-11, was in the building, got cancer from 9-11, or that his parent, grandparents fled the Holocaust. In both instances, Mr. Santos used tragic events in history to try and propel himself to public office. He's lying. And I don't mean George Santos. I mean Republican Congressman Mike Lawler, who you just heard expressing his outrage that George Santos would claim to have suffered a tragic loss on 9-11 when he didn't suffer anything. And George Santos has claimed that he suffered the pain of the Holocaust in a personal way. Congressman Lawler voted for the man who said this. How did he Dr. keep us Trump. safe when the World Trade Center came down? The world, excuse me, I lost hundreds of friends. That was in a Republican primary debate in 2016. I immediately said publicly that Donald Trump was lying, that he did not lose hundreds of friends on 9-11. No one else in the news media at the time picked up on it. The next day on Meet the Press, Donald Trump changed the number of friends he claimed he lost on 9-11. I was there. I lost many, many friends in that tragedy. And I immediately said that that reduction was a lie that it was a lie when Donald Trump reduced his claim from hundreds of hund and hundreds of friends to many friends. Donald Trump stopped telling that lie after I said it was a lie the second time. It's the only time he ever stopped telling a lie. The truth, Donald Trump lost zero friends on 9-11. None. Donald Trump attended zero 9-11 funerals, not one 9-11 funeral in New York or anywhere else. After Donald Trump told literally hundreds of lies in one sentence by claiming to have lost hundreds of friends on 9-11, Congressman Mike Lawler voted for Donald Trump for president, and then he voted for Donald Trump again to reelect Donald Trump for president, Donald Trump, who had lied about 9-11. Congressman Lawler voted for Donald Trump for president in 2016, and he voted for Donald Trump again in 2020. Congressman Lawler, who now pretends to be deeply offended by lies about 9-11, voted for a presidential candidate who told worse lies about 9-11 than George Santos could ever dream of, and nothing will stop Congressman Lawler from voting for Donald Trump for president again if Trump is the Republican nominee. So thanks to Congressman Mike Lawler for tonight's episode of Republicans Don't Mean What They Say.